Yeah, I like the pain. I can take it. Okay, that one hurt a lot. Let me go. Untie me this instant. Don't you see me struggling? Have some sympathy. I can't believe it. After eight long months, we have finally stopped you! You hold that spit in, or I will sprinkle rose petals on your grave. What are you going to do to me? Yeah, Arnold. What should we do to him? We are going to make him nice. No. 700 likes, and we will give Chase a personality. No. Another scheme from BLS Jimmy 84 as we wrap up the round of eight with a cut race at Phoenix today. We have reached the precipice of the year that was. Today, we will find out which four drivers will be racing for a championship at Homestead Miami Speedway next week. 19 points is what we have up over that cut line. That could wipe away with a crappy run out there at the Phoenix, and the flat tracks have not been my friend this year, so we're gonna have to come up with some way of, of a good run. I'm not the points leader, I'm in second. Bushy Bushy leads the way. The only person locked in at this point in time is Dorf Keselowski. He won Martinsville, so he moves through to Homestead to chase the championship. Winner of the race out there at Texas, Chef Boyardee clearly is not in this top eight, so that win doesn't matter for nothing. You would think Denny Hamster would have this fourth spot, but no, he does not. The guy that has the last spot in at this moment in time is Jeff Gordon Ramsay with 40, 63 points. Ahead of Denny Hamster by four, Steve Harvey by nine. Gets it by 11. And then Elton John has run like poop. He's down on Jeff Gordon Ramsay by 51. Mathematically, Elton John can no longer points race. He's going to have to win Phoenix to make it through. I could make upgrades to the car, but I won't. Should I? Maybe I should, considering how bad we've been on these flat tracks. We're just gonna roll with what the hell we have. I really hope that isn't a mistake. I'm hanging my hat on the thought that Martinsville car was awful, and we still somehow mustered a top 10 finish out of there. If we work the pit strategies, if we are smarter than the AI, which 99% of the time I am, then we should come out of here with the Final Four spot. 34 races of work comes down to this moment in time for eight drivers. I want all of you to go down into the comments right now. Who do you think are the four that are going to transfer to Homestead with a shot at the championship by video's end? Let's find that out now. Let's get this video truly started. Let's go! Mixed bag of results. Hi, everybody. Mike Joy and Daryl Waltrip welcoming you to the penultimate race of this year's Sprint Cup season, the Cobalt Tools 500. Every team in the chase is hoping to come out of Phoenix with maximum points going into the season's final race next week at Homestead. So it's a matter of resource management, conserving what you've got, and getting good track position. Things are going to tighten up. As we get near the end of the chase, this is a very, very critical race. All right, Daryl, time to go. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing in the desert, boys and girls. Thank you, Daryl. Uh, Daryl, are you feeling all right? It seemed like you and Mike were just woken up, rolled out of bed before you did that right. introduction. Slow talking bastards. We're underway at Phoenix. I believe that this car is very fast. In qualifying, you know the typical qualifying glitch, if you don't run through the whole thing, it sets you to the back. I put up a lap that was like two and a half tenths, three tenths faster than everybody else. But then I simulated the rest of it because I didn't want to sit around and wait. So they put me down to 25th. I'm pretty sure this car is really speedy. We got ourselves a long race today. Did you, what the hell just happened to my boy? Long race, I had a little bit of Chewbacca creep into my throat there for a minute. Hang on to it, you! <laughs> I said blanket up into McDouche. <laughs> Anyways, long race, 62 laps run, 60 to go. The mid-race report isn't gonna be for a while. 
And we got times four tire wear, times one on the fuel use. The new uh, set of shits we've been rolling with lately. If you look at the damn lap times, you sure wouldn't think that I have a very speedy race car. The booth put up on. 2649, my best so far at 2714. To be fair though, I'm stuck in traffic and I've already used the goodie off of the tires. Times four wears out these tires really, really fast. We had a hell of a time with the times four out there at the. Hey! Hey! I'm a chase guy! Have some respect! At Texas last week? I recorded that before my vacation. I, I, I'm trying so hard to remember what happened at Texas. I remember there were like four tire blowouts in a single lap. I expect to see more tire blowouts. This guy's got no respect. No respect at all. I'll remember that, Rogaine Smith, when you're not racing for a championship. He never had what it took. There are definitely going to be a whole bunch of AI tire blowouts. I'm making that prediction right now here at the Phoenix, because there's a ton of tire wear at this place. I'm a little surprised that we haven't moved any more. Um, yeah, eight laps in. I started in P25 up to 21st. Okay, so some movement forward. But from what I was feeling in qualifying, I, I don't know. The brake bias, the brake, but the brake bias is knocked out of it. So I am driving the same car I was driving before. It's tight. It's a bit tight, so on the first pit stop, gonna have to loosen the screws. But this thing, corner better. This isn't really typically a track where you would see AI yellow. They're, they're pretty solid around here, unless it's like through pit cycling and them getting into each other on the back stretch. You don't really get any of that sort of stuff, unless I'm running into people mostly down here into turn one and causing accidents. Cautions might be hard to come by. I just got really loose. Diggles Logano giving me his best Elton John impersonation, not letting me by. On the bottom, three back. I mean, you had a number of opportunities. You knew I was faster. You earned that bump and run. Giggles Logano. <laughs> might have considered that a dump and run. Look out for retribution. Even though it's a lot of laps, this race is gonna go by very quickly. We're on 50 to go. And I'm not going anywhere. I've got 19 points to my name. At least, Joe might have just been leading everything so far. Yeah, that'd be bad if it was one of the guys beneath that, the, the, the cut line, which I've been trying to look. I see the 31 up there. I'm sure there are more. Undoubtedly, if you're in the round of eight, there are good, you're gonna be up near the front. There are, I see Hamster, Dorm, Bushy, I see, all right, now they're all starting to come into focus. I'm getting old, man. My eyes don't focus as fast as they used to. Shout outs to Blue Jimmy 84 I like seeing Texaco on a NASCAR race car again. Bushy had himself a big issue washed up coming out of turn two. He's getting passed, I believe, by his teammate. Our tires, oh yeah, our tires are falling apart. We got a good, it's a bad year. We got Goodyear tire issues. We're gonna be hitting pit road here in a sec. A slew, a gaggle on the pit road that lap by. Uh, fresh tires earlier, will it make a difference? Will they gain track position by doing that? I don't know how long I really wanna push this here. I see a few people there that I know are chase playoff people. I don't want them gaining some sort of an advantage over me. I'm thinking I should pick. But if I can push it a couple more laps, and you know where I'm, you know where my mind is going here. I could make it on two stops only. 20, 40, and then stretch the last one a little bit further. All of these is. They're definitely looking at making this a three pit stop race. Jeff Gordon Ramsey and Jemai did not have the hood spa required to push it one more friggin' lap. Why not just push it as a, like, I got a little bit of life left on that right front tire. The right front tire is what's bad. I know I'm losing track time. I know I'm going to be losing positions here by be staying bad. out as long as I am. If this race stays green, which has got a green flag feel to it, I'm gonna be in the catbird seat. I'm gonna eat myself a cat bird for dinner. I can't push this any further. I don't see any green left over there. That right front is gonna blow. And if it does, 
there's going to be a whole bunch of handling problems with this car with underbody damage. Pain. Okay, these were the stupidest tire pressures I have ever seen. We forgot the goddamn pit box, guys. How can we fix the wedge if we don't have the wrench? Shut it away. We got our service. Hopefully this car... Oh, we got a blowout! We got a blowout! I told you it was coming. I knew it was coming. Look at how many positions! Wait, the 40... What? Why? The 43 is the leader! Bro! Make a pit stop, would ya? But I lost. I told you. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Remember what I told you? I don't want them gaining some sort of an advantage over me. I'm thinking I should pick. Was in 20th? Right, I think I had just made the pass on Giggles for 20th. Down, it's battling for 37th. Fast lap, much faster lap. It is a fast car. The 43 is still out here. There's something about that I don't like. Because he, did you see how everybody was getting around him? Give it the right set of circumstance. He could bring out a yellow flag and that would flip strategy up on its ass. Well, Jamai has successfully side, navigated double-A batteries. Clear left side. What in the world is that 43 car's strategy? He might be looking at only one pit stop today. I gotta give it to him. I mean, I mean, commitment to the strategy. He is really committed to this strategy. When is this 43 gonna make a pit stop? You gotta move, bro. You can, you gotta be looking in them mirrors. What if he has enough fuel to make it the whole way? That would be incredibly interesting to find out how that works out. He might never have to pit for fuel and he just picks up the positions, but he is losing so much time right now on only three wheels. It looks dire at the moment, but telling you, you gotta trust the system. Like the Philadelphia 76ers, as long as this stays green, caution free is what we're after. If it plays out, I believe we'll be fine. But if there is a yellow, oh, that process, oh, it's gonna be all sorts of screwed up. The only way we make our way up towards the front of this field, I think, is if it stays caution free. I just, I don't know if that is ever gonna happen unless it stays without yellow. I'm out. Ah! Welcome to Michael Boom's Speed Race, presented by Gas Can Water. I don't know why that guy was on pit road. That was Whitney Spears. Still no pit stop from the 43. I am so damn interested in seeing how his strategy is going to play out. What position that 43 car finishes in. Does he ever make a pit stop today? I'm pretty sure he's about to go two laps down. Pit stop cycle has begun. We are waiting until at least lap 40 to make our next pit stop. That's the only way we fight our way up near the front. This has been Michael Boops of Midrace Sport presented by Gas Can Water. Yeah, I saw that. Car inside, just looking. I wasn't on, trying buddy. to Keep hide it from you. Um, inside. luckily. One on the bottom. Fight back, man. Fight back. Fuck! Fuck! Okay. Our strategy completely just... It all changes here. I'm going on the offensive. I am, oh my God, I'm in 39th. I'm going on the attack. We have to put tires on this thing. We have to drive the fucking wheels off of it. I gotta get back up like around the top 20. Inside the top 20 is the goal. If we were to finish there, as long as none of those bottom four guys ends up winning the race, we should be all right. It was still tight. I need to loosen it up more. I cannot believe that it's because I hit that wall, that slowed me down, and then the 13 got up on me. I've never seen the AI go that low in the dog leg on the back stretch. Well, that is interesting. Less than half the field made a pit stop right there. The two car, the 11, the 20, the 24, all in the top six. The 31 car is in eighth. They're up there. There are a bunch of them that are up there. I gotta move. If the two car wins, that it, it's basically like a non-chase playoff person winning. It doesn't matter at all. He's already won. He's locked up a position in the next round. Keep that in mind. We got, oh, oh, oh my God. Get out of the way. We're good. We're good. We avoided it. We've picked up about 10 positions here in the lap. That's progress. Hey, look, it's a 43. Um, 
You plan it on making another pit stop again today? Bro is not even on the lead lap. What is he doing up here? Am I gonna, I'm gonna be stuck, to, I'm gonna be fucking doing this again! Stuck down around the bottom again! Look at us! Another dead spot! Oh no, oh this guy, he's got no respect! No respect! None of these people got any! Holy fuck! I took engine damage. I took a lot of engine damage. Oh, that I'm gonna be going really slow. I'm not gonna be able to keep up with anyone here. How in the world was that not a caution? I was turned dead ass sideways. I was facing the freaking wall. None of these people got any! I also took a bunch of right front damage. So now it is so tight. But you've got all these people that stayed out now making their pit stops, but there is no damn way they are making it to the end of the race from here. They're all gonna make another pit stop, and I am going to make another pit stop. Everyone, so we're riding in 15th. We still might be okay here. Don't, I, I, oh man. Oh, and that's a chase guy. So you know he, I am not getting turned by the 31 again. Everyone keeps hitting me! I'm so tired of this. I have to break for the corner. You have to anticipate my breaking! So now I'm in a crowd of cars. Bunch of which I'm racing for points. They're a lot faster than me because they don't have engine damage and right front suspension damage. She gonna cause it. That dummy. What a fucking, what a dummy. Could this be better though? A bunch of them are gonna be trapped a lap down. I would have saved that. I personally would have saved that race car. People hitting the wall, their sparks flying. Who needs to rub two sticks together when you got all these sparks? Can make it from here on tires. Everyone could make it from here. There's gonna be, I think everybody that came in with me before that was staying out should pit, and then all the rest of them will take a wave around and get back on the lead lap. It'll be interesting to see where we shake out in the running order. This really could have been for the better, because now I gotta fix up the car, I won't be as slow, I won't have everyone driving all over me, and we should maintain a top 15. Oh my God, 17th. Because the leaders stayed out, no one was getting their laps back. So only the top 17 are on the lead lap. 78 car to the lead. Do you know how dominant he has been throughout these playoffs? It is such a shame. Holy shit. Is that gonna be, they're still. I was, what the fuck was I doing? I was not, I was, oh my god. Why was I looking behind me? What, the what? Crews are clear of the track. The road will be open Fucking engine damage! I got a bit again! Do I want to race for a championship next week? Do I want to move on to Miami? I do! I know I do, but I'm not driving like I do. Get the figures out of my ass okay, and focus. Buddy, I would like to give a shout out to all of the pit crew, the guys that I hired back in Atlanta. Race two of the season, I all I have to do is give them a case of Heineken every week and they pit it for me. I don't have the money to pay them actual money, but they do it out of the love of alcohol. Restarts here are kind of bad shit. I'm learning that as time has gone by. 15. What was that for, huh? Who the fuck crapped in your cornflakes, huh? what I do to your family, huh? Are we the Hatfields and the Brutes? What do I gotta do to not get driven through here? I am going as deep into the freaking corner as I possibly can. Bushy, bushy. That is interesting. Is now leading the race. Was he, I believe, he was points leading. He was the points leader. So that really wouldn't change a whole hell of a lot for me. I believe I'm still in a good spot here. You got cars making pit stops. There are some that haven't come down pit road on like any of the caution flags. For whatever the reason, I don't know why, but they're just not doing it. The 31 is not looking good for transferring. The only way the 31 ever looks good is if he's in the lead today. But he's not, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a bit eliminated in here in a second. I just need to not wreck. I need to not get hit by anybody. 
or you hit things. If I can do that, Final Four, baby, here we come. It's not, I mean, that right there, that was the most people I've seen hit pit road at one time. Uh, six cars, six dots I see up pit road. Oh, Chubai takes the lead. Like, I don't, I don't know what everyone's pit strategies are. We're coming to 10 to go. I believe the pit stops are going to continue. A few cars behind me went down that time, but nobody in front of me. P14. I can't tell you one thing. Rogaine Smith is in front of me. I will dump that sack of shit if it means him winning or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. A couple of dirty Dans that have hit the rear end of this beautiful K and N Chevy today. Oh my God. So many of them. What it like there? I gave you so many opportunities. Three wide, two outside, far high. Waving the yellow, cautions out. And another opportunity to make another pit stop if you need one. For the love of God, pit on this yellow if you got a pit. That's what you fucking get. We just knocked the niceness into him. This is an interesting. This one. This is interesting. Because if I stay out which I think I'm going to. Everyone on fresh tires behind me? They're gonna be a lot faster! Who the hell, Earnhardt? I was like, wait a minute, Dad! Like, where did Dale Sr. come from? No, it's Earnhardt Jr., it's Junebug, out front! And now I got fresh tires all up on me. The car is not gonna turn as well as theirs does. These guys might be, oh, who's pitting? Who, Jumai's pitting? Oh my god! You guys gotta put a hand out the window! I have no idea. I, I never know. I never have any clue that they're going to be making these pit stops. I mean, a lot of guys. Bushy, look at that. Damn! There are a bunch of chase people involved. They killed the barrels! Coming in, buddy. You staying out. I think I'm gonna stay out another one. Lucky dog. 12th. How many people are on the lead lap? I have no fucking clue. It's interesting. Jumai was just headed down pit road right before that last yellow came out, and now, now look at him. He's in six. There was a point in time where I thought this was going to go green flag, wire to wire. What? Did it happen? Lala out front takes the lead away from Redneck Jesus, and you got his future ride trying to pass him on the bottom. We're uh, looking at a top five. There goes Chabai. But we got a bunch of people on four tires surrounding me. Five car, five car. Oh, ooh. It is close up there. Is Hamster on the lead lap? Let me look. No, he's not. Hamster is up here, but he's not. Are you fucking kidding? Oh, my God. Put a... You see how that fucks me? Do you see what that does to me? It completely screws me over because I didn't know you were slowing down so much. This is a hornet's nest, man. Down to 13th. And I guess that's all I have to worry about. There are only 13 cars on this lead lap. What a screwball freaking pits. Thank God there are only 13 cars on the lead lap because, oh my lord, I fucking hate these people. Five car, five car to the lead. Candy Cane, he's not in the chase. Neither was Lala. Could, I mean, we got Lala in second. You got the five car in the lead. You got a 26 blow in a tire. Could this be a preview of what happens at Martinsville? I'm recording this on Thursday. We'll see. I think we're through. That's a good start to the weekend, buddy. You just need to build on it come race day. Sorry to tell you this, Jeff Hammond. I'm assuming you must be emotionally fragile where you have a really hard time letting go. The weekend is over. The weekend did not just start. It is over. It's time to move on. Race over. That was an interesting race. That, that's all I got to say about that. I led a couple laps, so that's a bonus point for me. Jeff Gordon Ramsay also led. That's a bonus point for him. I don't think there's going to be any movement. I think it's the two, it's the 18, it's the 24, and myself. That's my prediction. Nobody else that was beneath the cut line did anything worthwhile. They were trapped laps down. Five car wins with Lala in second. Martinsville? 31, definitely, no doubt about it. He will not race for a championship. Jomai, uh, 
This is some Jumai 2024, definitely. This ain't Jumai 15, it's 2024 Jumai. Leading half the freaking race. Nah, he doesn't lead anymore. All right, so it might be Jumai 15. Leads half the race, finishes a lap down in 22nd. That's some good, good luck. Then you got Denny Hamster, got Darb. I'm trying to remember who the hell's in this. And if, yeah, he ain't moving on. And, um... I'm pretty sure I'm missing somebody, but hey, Vicks Vapor Rubbin last. You're so close to becoming a champ. You only need to keep driving the way you've been doing it. Don't let up now. I, I, I don't know if I should keep driving the way I've been doing it. I'm kind of reckless. After all the turmoil, after all the trauma, we make the final four in our comeback year with Moobs Motorsport in this number 80 car. We got one race left. This NASCAR 15 career, I don't know if it'll be the end of the series. We might come back in 2025. But one more race, claiming a championship. We're going to be squared off with Darb, Bushy Bushy, and Jeff Gordon Ramsey. NASCAR. 2015, I know these two were in the final four. I don't know if he was, uh, but we got at least half of it matching up with the actual, you know, you know what I'm saying, eliminated hamster. He's the only one that keeps his spot up here. Scroll through, I uh, got Kansas. He was kicked to the curb. Elton John, I feel like it was Steve Harvey. I have had a glass of strawberry milk every night of my life. I'm pretty sure that's fucked with my memory bank. Show you where everybody else finds themselves with one race remaining in this NASCAR 15 career. 35 races down, one to go, and four drivers gonna be battling for a championship next week out at Homestead. We are gonna wrap this thing up. Feather light. Uh, let's see what else we got out there. These aren't like the juicy sponsors. It's just kind of uh, the contingency ones. I love this k &N, So we're gonna slap them on there. Alrighty, folks. One race made, Homestead Miami. Mile and a half, so we've been our bread and butter this entire season. I think the majority of our seven wins, I, I'm not sure an exact count, but I think most of them have come on the mile and a half. Those are the tracks where the car feels the most comfortable. I'm not saying you know we're gonna be champions yet, but I, I think we're gonna have a pretty good shot at it. Drop a like if you want to see this series come back in 2025. I would love to do it again, but I'm done for now. Uh, I'll see you next week for the finale. Uh, another video of mine every day. I mean, every single day I got something posted for you guys, so I'll see you in the next video that I do. I love you. Ow! Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for allowing this series to continue. And because you guys keep coming back, that's why I keep making these episodes. So, uh, I'm done. I'm out. Goodbye. Goodbye.